Hi everyone. I have a mini album that um, I've been working on all day and I'm so excited about this mini album because it is for our vacation um, that we will be taking in about a week. So um, this is one of three mini albums and I just wanted to give you a quick look at it. So here it is. Let's see if I can focus in on this. I'm sorry, it's a little blurry. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So I know that the Cricut cartridge, one of our Cricut cartridges has um, this particular um, interstate sign, but um, it did not have the inside to it. So what I did was I went online and I found um, some free uh, clip art and I found this and I converted it into an SVG file and I um, use it, I used it with my Cricut and cut it out and was able to put 2011 and Vacation on top. Um, I also distressed it with um, vintage photo around the sides and then I have a stamp that had these little lines and stuff all over it and I used that because I wanted it to have that um, really really old look. I uh, used just a binding here that I had to distress myself because it was really shiny and I went ahead and um, used uh, the um, alcohol inks on that and I have a couple of ribbons on here and some fibers then I have a little Tim Holtz charm and this little key So the papers that are inside the book, I took from three or four different stacks. Um, one of them is the Old World stack from D DCWV. And another stack that I used was by um, My Mind's Eye. It's Life Stories. And I also had, um, the one I used most is um, U.S. Travel Paper. And it's by Paper House Production. And then I also used Basic Gray. And that is, um, I think it was like Manila something. I don't know. It had a whole bunch of different little papers that had the, the uh, like school graph paper and stuff like that. So on the inside of my album, I, of course, have this spot right here to journal. And I used the Tim Holtz die. I um, used my brown dabber to paint this. And then I used some crackle accents on it. And it holds my little postcards. Um, I used the Tim Holtz stamp there. And then on the back, I'm just going to go ahead and put, put a full picture on the back of these. So there, I left these blank. And then they just slide right back in there. Like that. I really, really like the um, U.S. travel paper. Um, it was, um, my lighting is horrible in here, I'm sorry, but um, it, it was really, really um, nice. It had a whole bunch of different, um, like, states, or it would say Florida, and then have palm trees and, and stuff like that. So it was really pretty paper. Um, what I did here was I used a paper that had a whole bunch of license plates on the back. And then made a photo mat. And to hold my photo mat, I have these little um, photo corners because this is stuck onto my chipboard. And here's the photo mat. I used a little stamp there, stamped it with a little compass, and I used um, some um, Perfect Pearls. I believe I used the gold Perfect Pearls for that one. And then here, 
I forgot to put my tag in. There is a pocket here for just a little tag. And the reason I forgot to put it in was because I made this video earlier and couldn't get it back in. But there it goes. It's, it's in. It's a little tight squeeze there. But it is back in. So I love these little photo corners. I've had them forever. And um, I like to use them in my mini albums. So my next page is the photo op page and I have um, used the Sizzix die there and I can slide a picture back in here and then it also has a little pocket back here to hold my little journaling spot here and then a place to put some more pictures or whatever I choose. And I, what I did was I used my black dapper for this, and I don't know if you can see it, but I just ran it over real quick. That way um, it would look old and worn. On this page, I just have some tags. And what I did was I tore a piece of paper here, and I use my vintage photo and kind of peel back the paper a little bit. I found a, some stamps at um, Michael's the other day. I went to their um, discount bin and they, my Michael's had so many uh, scrapbooking things on discount and there was a set of stamps that I bought for like three dollars and it was um, all like uh, traveling stamps so it was pretty good I was excited to get those so it the stamp says welcome to our fabulous backyard and um, I used pop dots to pop that up and then I just have two tags that I actually cut down so they would fit in here and um, I did the little Tim Holtz stamp there and used um, the crackle paint and on the back I'm gonna put a full photo on the back of these here I used I'm sorry I was out of frame there here I used um, film strip Tim Holtz film strip I had these little bitty um, tags sitting in a drawer I've had them forever so I just took some paper and glued them on and I have a little journaling spot or a little place for pictures and then a photo mat. And this is more of that traveling paper that I was telling you about. It's really... This was just a blank sheet of 12 by 12 paper. I cut it out and I stamped it myself on the back. And then these just slide right in. I cannot wait to put pictures in here. Here I used the Sizzix frame die. And then I embossed it with a, one of my embossing folders. And I glued it on to half of an envelope. And I also have a little brad there that's attached to this paper clip. So now I have a place to put a photo and I have a pocket for a um, photo mat. Use the Tim Holtz stamps here. So I have photo mat, a photo place, journaling spot. And then another place to do some journaling or add some ticket stubs that we get along the way or whatever onto here. This one, I took some string. I punched some holes in here, took some string, ran it through. I just wanted um, some spots to put some tags. I have another little Tim Holtz charm here. And... Um, crinkled up this tag and just ran my 
a distress pad over it, stamped it. Actually, this is the Tim Holtz um, little uh, reverse deal, the one that you put the plastic down and then you run it over and you take it off and it is the reverse um, distressing. What I did was I liked it so much that I wanted a stamp and I made a stamp out of it by um, scanning it, running it through a uh, Photoshop, fixing it up, and I used my Teresa Cullen stamp maker, and I made that stamp right there. And then on the back, it just says, um, live the life you've imagined. And then I have this little tag is another find at Michael's in the uh, discount bin. What it was, they, they were selling a little kit it was just a little bitty travel kit, and um, it had a whole bunch of tags in it. It had this little cheap um, photo album, and um, I bought the photo album for like $2, and then it had all these little tags in them, and I was able to use the tags on this, and I just glued the tag on to a piece of cardstock, and I can put a photo back here. And here's some more of those tags. These also came in um, that little kit. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paste some photos back on the back of these so they are left blank. Journal on the front, paste some photos on the back, glue some photos in the back. This page, I do not know if I'm going to keep it in here. It is kind of lighter. I don't know if you can see in this lighting because my lighting is horrible in the house. But, um... It's not as dark as the other pages, um, but what I did was I took the Sizzix stamp frame, cut it out, and I've got a little place for a photo here and then a photo here. I also um, have not found the right stamp, the journaling stamp for here. I need a circle one, and I don't have it right now, so um, I think it'll look okay once I put the pictures in. I've not finished the back because I don't know if I want this to be my last page or not. So um, I am may add another page or two. But um, like I said, this is one of three mini albums. I'm going to make um, a um, mini album because I am a Twi hard. I am a big Twilight fan and so is my daughter and on our vacation we are going up to Washington and my husband has promised that we will go to Forks so I'm going to make a separate um, mini album for that so um, but this is this one I thought was was fun it was fun to make um, I hope you enjoyed it and um, let me know what you think